All right, everybody. So I am back with another review here. Um, one very similar to the uh, last review I did of Love and Death. Uh, the exact same story, just differently told, I guess. Different actors, different dramatization of it. Uh, this time it is Hulu's Candy, which is, again, based off of um, Candy Montgomery, a real-life woman who... Um, had an affair with her friend's husband, and things go from there. I'm not going to spoil anything, even though it is real life. Uh, I don't want to spoil anything that happens in case you don't know the way I didn't. Uh, so this this uh, miniseries is five episodes rather than seven, like Love and Death did. And, sorry, got to get my view better here. Got to hold on to the camera a little better so I'm not shaking it quite as much. And holy cow, it's getting shaky here. Anyways, guys, um, five episodes rather than seven. Uh, the thing I didn't love about Love and Death is many characters in it just seemed a little crazy, a little over the top and ridiculous. Candy did a lot better of making these people feel more real, which I really appreciated. There was one particular person that was a cartoon character, and it is a very famous celebrity that shows up in episode four. He's only in episode four and five. When he shows up, I think you'll know. Um, and I was surprised by that at first, but then I went, wait a minute, you're related to someone who is also in this show. Not a surprise. Uh, he was absolutely terrible. And I was really, really actually loving this miniseries up until episode four. Pretty much the minute he walks into the screen and starts talking, I want to take an axe and bash his face in. Because it was so annoying what he was doing. Such a cartoon character. Um, so yeah. I, what I will say about this this candy version is that episodes 1 through 3 were fantastic. They were very, very, very good. Uh, acting in this is great. Same as Love and Death. Uh, again, I thought the characters were a little bit more relatable. Uh, Love and Death doesn't really, like, get to the big incident until episode four, essentially. Episode three ends with the incident about to happen. Uh, and I was kind of bored by it. It did have a little more detail to it. But I think Candy did a better job of just giving us details without having to go into details. We didn't need to <clears throat> see all the extra stuff. Uh, so I appreciated that a little more about Candy. Candy's also told in a non-linear faction. The first episode, the opening, is essentially what happens after the incident, which is really interesting. And it immediately gets you intrigued. Whereas, again, Love and Death is in order, and by episode four is when we find out about this incident. So I did like that, because it was going back and forth more, and it went, okay, so how did that happen with this and this and this? Excuse me. Uh, what I will say about Candy is that we don't get a whole heck of a lot of information on after the incident. There's a lot before, and then it very quickly goes through. It feels like it very much was rushed towards the end there. Uh, and I kind of liked, it's interesting, I like the beginning of Candy more. I liked the end of Love and Death more. I think if you were to put the uh, essentially the first three episodes of Candy with the last four episodes of Love and Death, it would be perfect. Which is really interesting. You know, like this is almost a double watch and you just want to skip the bad episodes for me anyway. Uh, I will say that there are things in Love and Death that are not in here as well, and I want to know if they are true. I'm going to do some research. Uh, one particular thing, again, I'm not going to spoil anything. Certain thing, uh, Candy telling her husband certain things. In Love and Death, it very much shows that she did not tell her husband anything, as told by other people not to tell her husband things. That's interesting. Um... Another thing that is very interesting is it is said in Candy that she cheated on her husband again, 
before the incident happens. I don't remember hearing that in Love and Death. Maybe it was a throwaway line. That's something that also happens in Candy. There's a lot of throwaway lines because of time. It's only five episodes. I don't need to point it at the TV right now. It's not even on there anymore. I don't even know where my remote is. So anyways, um, because of time purposes, I would think, there's some things that are just kind of said. And it's like, oh, when did that get said? Okay, apparently so. Uh, also, another thing in Love and Death that I really did not like. There is... I don't know how to say it without spoiling it. There is someone at the end of the show who's not actually there. And it almost goes like they're going to show their perspective of what it could have been, but it doesn't. And it just feels like a waste. At the end of the day, both these shows have kind of told from Candy's perspective on how she felt everything went down. And it's not really on other people's sides, but there's this brief moment where it feels like it's going to show it and what could have happened, which maybe would have been interesting. Because at the end of the day, the only person that we have to say what actually went down is Candy. Um, she might not have been telling the truth because of certain things. Uh, again, I don't want to spoil. Uh, so yeah, very interesting shows, uh, both. Didn't love either one of them necessarily. Uh, but they're good. They're good. I, I, I'll give Candy a 7 out of 10, same as I did Love and Death. Again, I think if you were to watch the first three episodes of Candy, watch the last four episodes of Love and Death, it's a really interesting, intriguing show that I really enjoy all around. Uh, and just the story itself is very interesting. Um, the, the finer details are really interesting. Uh, just a lot of all around interesting stuff. If you're someone, of, if you're a fan of true crime, in a sense, I'm not like a crazy fan of true crime, but it is interesting how, how people react and such like that. That, that's what really fascinates me. Um, so yeah, all, all around, this was a very interesting story that I found out about. Uh, there's a book that these are, are based on. I'd like to read that book eventually. Um, adding it to my list of books to read. I have a lot. But um, yeah, check it out if this is something that is for you. Very interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, that is my review of, you know, Candy Montgomery, essentially. Uh, essentially. Uh, Candy is still alive. I believe she's almost in her 80s at this point. Um yeah, I think she lives in Georgia, too. Not far from here. So, you know. Oh, that's interesting. Anyways, guys, um, yeah. I can't believe I'm actually keeping up with these. We're at four videos now. Heels, yeah. I have nothing else to say. Anyways, guys, have a great night. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. See ya.